In the middle of a newly built housing estate, sheltered by a few surviving trees, stand the remains of a sort of extinct man-made volcano, sealed off on the side that faces the town by a massive, stoutly bastioned wall. Faversham may well be the country's oldest gunpowder-making centre. Powder was manufactured here from Elizabethan times until the industry was moved away in the present century for strategic reasons and Faversham's mills fell into disrepair. Since 1967, the Faversham Society has been working to restore one of the gunpowder sites, the Chart Mills, deliberately left untouched in the middle of the housing development. The secretary of the society, Arthur Percival, is collecting the tape-recorded reminiscences of men who used to work in the gunpowder industry. Some of them are still at work here on the restoration of chart mills. My sister worked in a shed about a few yards from the seawall, and uh, she was an explosion when they was filling a torpedo head and uh, she was picked up 150 feet in the, on the marsh with everything burnt off. And she's still alive at Bolton today. The Society's recording work takes in all the many monuments of the gunpowder trade in the area, like the heavily fortified corning plant at the ore works. The early 20s, with a lot of two men, the corn nose blew up, and uh, it was remodelled by Nobel's and electric motors put in the back of this wall. And these holes, you see, is where the spindles came through, or shaft, to drive... But the society's steel. chief concern is the reconstruction work at Chart Mills, where the gunpowder mixing or incorporating machinery is being restored under the guidance of architect Andrew Osborne. There are four incorporating mills on this site, of which three only remain in foundations. The um, first pair were here, driven by a water wheel between them here, and they were separated by, from the, uh, the next pair by this blast wall here again, which only exists in foundations. When the Society started work at the mills in 1967, the site was overgrown with 60 years of neglect. All but one of the wooden sheds that covered the machinery had disappeared. And inside the shed that remained, the incorporating machinery was in a sorry state. Now this shed has been completely rebuilt. This is the water wheel which drives the machinery of the uh, mill which remains. It's, the drive is transmitted through the wall to this pit wheel here. From the pit wheel, the drive passes to the machinery via wooden teeth meshing with metal to avoid dangerous sparks. An immense wooden shaft turns the great stone edge runners on the bed where the mixture of sulphur, charcoal and saltpetre was pounded together. The group is now working to get these stones running again under the power of the water wheel beside the shed. The Faversham Society's aim is to restore the chart mills into working order, not of course to manufacture gunpowder, but to just simply demonstrate the process of how it used to be made. <laughs> 